Hey Astro Kids and welcome back. And in today's video we'll be talking about Saturn in the fourth house. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So before we start, just a few quick disclaimers. I am using Vedic Sidereal Astrology. So if you are using Tropical Astrology, just make sure that you are using a whole sign system so that you have the correct information. Also, we have to understand that Saturn is a highly karmic planet. And so Saturn has a tendency to create obstacles and delays in the area that Saturn is placed within our natal chart. But as it grows with time, we become experienced in this area. And so the most important points of our journey with Saturn are at the age of 30 when we go through a Saturn return, where some of those karmas return back to us and we begin to gain confidence in that area. And then when Saturn matures at 36 is where we tend to see the most success from that position of Saturn. Also, Saturn will impact you very strongly during your Saturn Mahadasha. And along with this, we have to understand if there are any planets aspecting or in conjunction with Saturn, along with what sign is Saturn placed in. Is it in a sign that it is going to function well in? And is it a beneficial planet for your natal chart based upon your ascendant sign? Along with this, you want to see the houses that are ruled by Capricorn and Aquarius, as these are the two signs that Saturn controls. So Saturn will have influence over those two houses as well. So all of this is important when considering the position of Saturn. So what is Saturn? Saturn is, again, a highly karmic planet that is all about our growth and improvement. Saturn tends to put up obstacles and delays, heavy karmic restrictions in our lives from a very young age. But Saturn also shows our growth and achievement and takes us towards long-lasting success. So these are the karmas that we have to face in this lifetime in order to see this growth and progression. Saturn is all about the practical. It is all about what is real, teaching us through experience, teaching us through the reality reality of life. Saturn also is a planet that is associated with patience, discipline, hard work. So the more that we put patience, discipline, and hard work into the area that Saturn rules over, the more that we will reap the benefits of Saturn. So what is the fourth house? The fourth house of the natal chart is related to the home and the early childhood experience. It is connected to our mother and the guidance and nourishment that we receive from our mother. The fourth house also is a place of happiness and inner peace because the home is where the heart is. So this is where we feel the most peace and joy within the home space. The fourth house along with this is about our conveniences. It is about all of our vehicles, our property. Are we living in comfort? Do we have all of the things that we need to feel comfortable and secure? All of this is related to the fourth house. Along with this, the fourth house is your country of origin. It is all about your homeland and your connection to home, family, tradition, ancestors. It is where you are coming from in life. The fourth house is all about your emotions. It is all about your private life. It is how you are being nurtured and comfort through your emotions. Along with this, the fourth house has to do with real estate because once again, it is all about home and property. So what happens when Saturn enters into the fourth house of the natal chart? Well, this tends to be a very challenging position from a young age, but has the potential to give you a great amount of success as you get older. And again, you want to keep in mind that a lot of this will depend upon how Saturn is positioned in your chart. Is it exalted in Libra? Is it debilitated in Aries? Is it in its own sign of Capricorn or Aquarius? This will make a huge difference. 
And with this position, Saturn can pose a lot of obstacles, even if it is exalted, because of the fact that Saturn is ruling over the 7th and 8th house for Cancer Ascendant. So those of you who have Cancer Ascendant tend to have Libra down in that 4th house. So that can create obstacles, sudden ups and downs through that 8th house rulership. But ultimately, as it is exalted, it will give you the results that you are looking for. So Saturn in this fourth house is going to restrict the home and the early environment. This is going to give you a very disciplined and organized mother. And this can sometimes be perceived as very strict, as very harsh to the individual. So there's a tendency to feel restricted in this early childhood experience. This becomes very disciplined, very orderly. You have certain rules and regulations and are very much restricted from doing the things that you want to do in this environment. This is a mother who wants to teach you about the realities of life and so is going to be more serious, more geared towards discipline and responsibility. So this can be a tough early experience. And Saturn here in this fourth house can even give you some distance in your relationship with your mother. So this can be that you are not seeing from the same perspective. So you can have conflicts with your mother. But this also can be that you have some kind of actual distance with the mother growing up in the early environment. So you could have been raised by a different parent or paternal figure within your home environment growing up. And because Saturn is related to elderly figures, you could have been raised by a grandparent with this position. As Saturn also aspects onto the sixth house, you could have also been raised by your aunts. So this shows a distant connection with the mother that can be very challenging from an early age. Saturn in the fourth house also can disturb your early education. And if Saturn is placed well in the chart, this can make you very much successful in your education because Saturn gives you the discipline, the focus, and you tend to get a very structured educational environment. But if Saturn is badly damaged in this position, it can create obstacles within your early education experience. Mostly, Saturn in this fourth house can make you feel lonely within your educational experience, where there is difficulty with relating to others in school. And this can also show, especially if Saturn is badly damaged, that there was teasing, bullying happening within your education. So this can be a very difficult experience. Saturn in this fourth house is going to dominate over your entire life because this is a Kendra house, one of the main houses. And as I will explain in a little bit in this video, this is going to also impact the 10th and 1st house of your chart, which are also major Kendra houses. So this is a very prominent Saturn placement. Saturn here in this fourth house can restrict you getting property or vehicles or certain conveniences from an early age as well, where this will take time. So there can be legal issues, there can be issues with contracts and dealings around property and vehicles. Saturn in the fourth house, especially if this is badly damaged, can also make you extremely introverted, where you prefer your own space. You prefer to be alone within your home space. And so this can create difficulties around relating to other family members. Saturn in the fourth house is going to give you a very serious mindset where all of this discipline and restriction from your early experience will shape you into who you are. So you start to become more disciplined. You start to become more serious in your approach to life. Saturn in the fourth house tends to be a position that likes routine, that likes order. As you grow up and you develop your own home, you like to have that order and routine within your home environment. And so this can disturb your peace as well because Saturn is a planet of fear and it tends to bring a very pessimistic or cynical attitude as Saturn is all about reality. And so you can become someone who is pessimistic as well where there's difficulty with finding a sense of inner peace and happiness from an early age. But this is something that tends to get better with time and experience. 
Saturn in the fourth house can make you strongly attached to your family traditions, to your ancestry. And so even if you are thinking about leaving this home environment, there is always some kind of cultural attachment to your home and family experience. Again, you become very serious about this home environment. As Saturn aspects the sixth house of your chart, this is going to make you someone who is very difficult to defeat. Especially at a younger age, you can find that you have less enemies, less obstacles in your path. This is an excellent position for getting on top of challenges and health concerns. And with this aspect, you can become very much focused on your health, very health conscious, very much concerned with your diet and how you are dealing with your health related issues. So this can make you very much healthy, very much skilled in this area. And you may also get involved with the medical field because Saturn is the karaka for career as it's aspecting over to this sixth house of service. So you can get involved in any kind of service-related careers, the medical field, the law field. You can get involved in humanitarian work. All of this is related to this position. So as you get older, there is a tendency to attract others to you who seek your nourishment, your sense of security. And because you have this challenging early experience, you become someone who seeks to give others nourishment and security that they are looking for. So you don't want others to struggle in the way that you did in your early experience. This makes you very service oriented. Saturn can negatively impact your health though, especially when it comes to the bones, the skin, all of these Saturn related illnesses. And so a lot of this is coming from stress as Saturn in that fourth house is going to make you a workaholic where you become very much determined and focus into your work. And again, if this is placed in a negative position, this can make you more lazy and less inclined towards work, or it can make you hardworking, but you can feel a lot of burden and pressure in this hard work. But if this is placed well, you will be someone who enjoys hard work. And this can make you a workaholic where you are putting too much energy and focus into this area. So this can create health-related issues later on in life. Again, Saturn tends to do things very slowly. It is a planet that takes time. So a lot of the time in the early experience, there's a lack of these issues related to the sixth house, but they can increase as you get older. As Saturn aspects onto the sixth house, she becomes skilled at dealing with obstacles. And so once again, this can take you into the legal field and you can find that you're dealing with a lot of legal obstacles and documentation. This can also create issues within relationships sometimes as the sixth house is 12th from the seventh house. But you want to pay attention to what is your sixth lord and where is the moon placed in your chart. This will give a clearer picture of this. Saturn aspecting onto the sixth house can sometimes give you a connection towards animals as well. But you want to pay attention to, again, how is Saturn placed in this position. This could make you a veterinarian as well as this aspect onto the sixth house is making you inclined towards service. As Saturn aspects onto the 10th house, you can find that there are obstacles and delays related to your career. And this can come from the fact that there is so much responsibility and discipline that is going into the home environment. So you may have to take care of a family member or to take on certain family responsibilities that can create obstacles in you excelling in your career. As Saturn aspects onto this 10th house, you can have all sorts of career related issues where you have to change your career at some point or you are having difficulty with actually finding the correct career path for yourself. So this can be something that can take time. But with Saturn aspecting onto this 10th house, this ensures career success, especially if Saturn is placed well in the chart. You get this slow build towards the top. So this takes you towards massive success and recognition. As Saturn aspects onto the 10th house, which is a house related to government, you can also get involved in a job that has to do with the government or politics. You can become very authoritative, very much involved in administrative roles with this position as well. 
Saturn's aspect onto the first house, as I've said, is going to affect your entire personality. So as Saturn is sitting in this fourth house, this is going to make you someone who is disciplined, who is hardworking, who is very determined, ambitious, putting all of your focus into gaining that success, gaining that abundance in life. So you become someone who is very practical, very hardworking, very much able to take on the difficulties of life. And this is a position that can also get you into a labor job or a job that requires a great deal of effort. So you are someone who can take on a lot of work and responsibility. With Saturn in the fourth house, you may also work from home or you may work in a career that has to do with property, with real estate. And with this position, you also can have a difficult time with relaxing. Again, that fourth house is that home space where we find peace and relaxation. But with Saturn here, you are always focused on work and responsibility. So there's a difficulty with relaxing with this position as well. This is definitely a position where if you are adding routine and order into your life, this can help you in great achievements. And your success in your career can knock out all of your competition and enemies. So this is a very powerful position. If Saturn is negatively placed in the chart, you also want to watch heart-related issues and stomach-related issues that can come up health-wise, once again, due to this stress, this continuous, strenuous effort. Due to the fourth house also being related to education, you can make an excellent teacher and you can have a huge appreciation for the structure and system of education in general. Sometimes Saturn in the fourth house can also give difficulties around expressing your thoughts and emotions. There's a tendency again to want to isolate in that home space, which can make it very difficult to connect with others. And again, this becomes especially true when Saturn is in a difficult position or when it is being impacted by challenging planets. Sometimes Saturn can have a negative impact on your identity as well, where there is a deep feeling of insecurity with Saturn in this fourth house. Because once again, this fourth house is all about giving you a sense of security. And Saturn brings in the fear. So as Saturn is aspecting onto your first house of self, there can be a struggle with the self and understanding who you are and how to express yourself in the world. So there can be a tendency to put on a false identity or to shy away from expressing yourself to others. So this position is all about building your sense of confidence and understanding who you are. That fourth house is taking you inward to face yourself at a deeper level. So this is a position where you want to get in tune with your feelings and your true identity. Overall, Saturn in this fourth house is going to give you major success in life, but this will be a very slow process. And so this becomes all about instilling those Saturn qualities into your personality, becoming patient, disciplined, and building a routine, slowly moving your way towards success. And so if you have Saturn in a difficult position where this is not working for you, it's very important that you are adding certain routines into your life that can help you to move towards this success. 